Get your feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead with the knees going towards your second toes. So that rolling at the top of the thighs to find ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders up. Spread out your toes, no gripping, and push your sitting bones slightly down, then activate your core, ribs towards your spine and up. Get that spine supported. Shoulders back and down. Crown toward the ceiling and just focus on your breath, drawing in energy and awareness. Exhaling stress and tension. And just remembering always that at this season of the year, it's a little stressful sometimes. So let's start before our warm up with a little gentle alternate nostril breathing. So bring your hand up in front of your face, put your thumb on your nostril, then exhale, and inhale on the other side, and then block that side off with your pinky finger and release the thumb, and then exhale and inhale on that side. And just keep doing it, thumb to the one nostril, exhale and inhale, pinky finger, Exhale and inhale. And you can use this during the holidays just to make sure that you are able to release and relax. Just a few more times, exhaling and inhaling and alternating. And then as you exhale, just release your hands. Breathe normally and just feel that calm centeredness, letting everything else outside go. And then as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level for our warm up. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down. And then exhale, clasping your hands behind you. Press your fingers toward the floor and lift your heart. Pivot over as you exhale and relax. So just deepen into your forward position as much as you like, kind of move your hands toward your head for your shoulders to get a little release. And then knees bent, chin in, start at the bottom of your spine, wind your way back to the top, shoulders dropping, chest lifting, and stretch out through the top of your head, spreading your toes while you do that. So just keep lengthening the breathing. Inhale to the top, release your arms, feel the circulation warming you up. And then inhaling, arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and exhale, clasp the hands the opposite way behind you, shift from one position with your fingers. Stretch into your back bend, and then pivot over, and into the forward position. Move your chin around, let your neck release. Hands toward your head. And again, knees going slightly toward your toes. Find your way back all the way to the top. And again, a nice back bend, lifting your heart. Take a breath or two. And then on an inhalation, come up and release. See so you back in the mountain pose, just feel a little bit warmer through the spine, especially. And then reach your crown up, bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, pass them and clasp, bring your arms next to your ears, stretch through the spine, keep everything straight for our side stretch, and lean over to one side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, Make sure you're not leaning forward. And just feel those ribs open and that spine goes side to side. And then inhale back to the center. Keep the shoulders down as you bring the other hand to the front. Pull your arms again by your ears, shoulders down, head out. And lean to the opposite side for that side opening. Push the foot down and the hands away. Feel the ribs stretch a little bit more. And again, inhaling, come to the top, and exhale back into mountain pose. Feel your shoulders, your, your ribs, your whole sides of your body. 
And we'll do our twist, so get that spine open so that it's got room to move. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, spread your toes, stretch your spine apart, and exhale to the twist. Breathe in, exhale over. And just deepen as much as you'd like. Exhale in tension. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can. Keep your arms next to your ears. And then your twist, work your way back up. Lift your heart into that upper body back and then always in the twist, just on your low back. So lifting your heart, stretching your head back, elbows back as well. And then inhale back to the top and exhale around to the center. Switch your arms around. Stretch your spine apart again and exhale to the other side. Another breath. And exhale on over. So take a moment there, just breathe and relax. Tension up. And then when you're ready to come back up, stay in your twist with the weight on both feet as much as you can. And again, into that upper body back then. Keep breathing. Keep lengthening your spine. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, arms up, shoulders down, and extend the back. Swan back forward, palms out, shoulder level at your arms, pivot at your hips, everything straight, and then just drop in the rag down and connect. Take a moment and breathe. Deepen if you like with your hands behind your legs. And back to the center. Slowly wind your way up. Shoulders up, back and down. And again, into mountain pose, stretching your spine apart. And we'll just swing side to side into the wing pose. So follow your hands from one side to the other. Keep the head reaching up through the crown. Keep breathing and just let your spine do the work moving as much or as little as it wants. And then back to the center. Feel your shoulders up, back and down a couple of times. And step your feet together. Bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond. Hands above your knees. Remember, no pressure into your knees, just positioning. And then circle with those knees. Moving your feet around, your knees around, your hips, your lower back, giving a little bit of motion as you circle those knees. And then stop and go the other way. And remember, don't push your knees beyond your toes. Make sure you never overwork your knees. And then stop, come to the center, find that spot out on the floor to focus on as you lift your heels, spread out your toes, Get onto the base of your toes, not the toes themselves, for support. Find your balance as much as you can. Keep breathing, shoulders relaxing. And then work out the bottoms of your feet going onto your heels and up onto your toes. So work the arches, ankles, toes, everything. And then back to hip work on your feet into mountain pose. Take a moment, feel that lower body just a little bit more activated, and then either clasp your hands around behind you or come into reverse prayer with those fingertips up between your shoulder blades, palms pressing toward each other, and bend your knees again toward your toes, not beyond, just some hip circles. So just big circles going around, bring that lower back working your whole body, and keeping those shoulders released. Stop and go the opposite way with your circles. Keep breathing. Maximize or minimize. Remember always what's right for you today. And releasing back into mountain pose. Keep your feet hip width apart. That little rolling at the top of the thigh. And keep those knees going toward your second toes so everything's lined up. And we'll do a little balance practice. So ribs toward your spine and up, more active supporting your back. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, everything lined up. 
Ground reaching to the ceiling. Spread your toes. Remember, no gripping. Arch lifting, the cool bottom of your foot connecting, especially across the big toe and the base of the toe. Sink into that balance foot and bring your other leg up as far as it wants to go. Make sure it's still rolled in at the top of that thigh so your foot doesn't cross over. And then work your ankle both ways. Circle it. Breathe. Flex and point. And release that side. Shift what worked. Improve what we need to. Get everything lined up. Stack those bones for support. Get that core activated for support. Breathe. Ground reaching up. Bring that other leg up. And again, pull it in towards your chest as much as you want, or keep it low if this is your challenge side. And then work your ankle. Keep breathing, working, doing what's right for your body. And again, flex and point and release. Sink evenly into both feet. Sitting bones toward the floor, core activated, shoulders back and down. For one more balance practice. So get onto your favorite balance foot, spreading the toes, getting everything aligned and supported. Bring that leg up just a little ways, and then bend forward and hold your foot. Pull the knee in towards your heart. Flex the foot, bottom of the foot going toward the floor. Toes going back toward you. Make a breath. Exhale. And when you're ready, release that side. And sink evenly into your feet. Line everything up again. Reactivate that core. Keep breathing. Tension out. And again, sink into that foot that you haven't used yet. Bring the other one up a little ways. And slightly forward, hold under the base of your toes and pull the knee in. And again, breathe. Just deep focus somewhere, holding your balance, letting everything do what it needs to, pressing that heel down, pulling the toes back. And when you're ready, exhale and release that side. Back in mountain pose. Feel what's going on. Let's again focus on the breath. And one more time with that alternate nostril breathing to let that balance stress go. Hand in front of your nose, thumb to your nose, exhale, inhale. And keep finger on that nostril, releasing the other one. Exhale, inhale. Thumb on. Exhale, inhale, little finger, exhale, inhale. And just keep going at your own pace a couple more times. Breathing, relaxing. Right in your inner awareness. Letting the tension go. And after an exhale, just release that hand. And again, breathe normally. Feeling that calmness, feeling you getting ready for whatever's ahead for your holiday. Bring your hands to your heart, shoulders down, crown high, sitting bones toward the floor. Activate that core. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling. Thumbs coming back, looking at them coming into as much of a back bend as you want. Exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Give it out over all the way in the red dog. Just hanging. Move your chin around. Slide your hands up under your knees. Press just gently into your shins. Knees straight, elbows straight, spine straight. Stretch it out. Exhale back in your rag dog, just hanging. And then knees slightly bent, palms together. Again, bring your hands toward your heart, pull the way toward the ceiling. 
another little back bend. And then separate your hands, bring them out to shoulder level as you come pivoting at your hips forward. Stretch it out, exhale, let it go. And come to the floor for child's pose transition. Sitting bones on your heels and hands next to you. Forehead toward the floor, shoulders down. Just breathe deep, exhale. And then bring your arms to the front, hands toward the sides of the mat, slide your toes back, drop your hips, roll all the way down on your belly. Head to one side, hands palms up, shoulders down. Rest in crocodile. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, turn your head to the opposite side, but your neck breathes evenly on both sides. And then bring your forehead to the floor. Cross your arms across your lower back. Inhale, face to the front, clench toward the ceiling. Chest forward and up, chin slightly back toward your chest so that neck gets a good stretch in the supported curve. Just a gentle back bend with your body low to the floor if you need to, or come up as high as you'd like. Make sure your neck keeps stretching, not crunching. Keep those toes stretching away behind you like that hip with the heart. Take another breath, chest maybe a little higher, and then totally exhale all the way down, forehead to the floor. Release your arms to your side, and then relax. Turn your hands, palms down. And again, we're going to inhale, face forward, clam toward the ceiling. Tuck that chin back, chest forward and up, only as high as you want to go. And then bring your hands up slightly off the floor and push them back toward your toes. Take a breath, maybe go a little higher. And then exhaling, hands to the floor, and forehead back all the way there. Take a moment there again, breathe. And once again, palms toward the floor. Inhaling, face forward, clam up. Chin back toward your chest, chest forward and up, shoulder blades toward your waist. Bring those hands off the floor, reach them toward your toes. Keep the feet up with the part, and maybe raise your feet off the floor as well. Push the feet and the hands, fingers back, and the chest forward and the crown up. Coming into your position as deeply as you want, gently if you need to. Take a breath, maybe a little higher. Exhale, feet to the floor, hands to the floor, forehead to the floor, and relax. Bring your hands under your shoulders, press into your hands, coming all the way back, hips to your heels, hands next to your side, into child's pose. Take a breath, exhale, tension. And a nice forward bend through that lower back where we were working just gently in that back bend. And then inhaling, come on up, bring your feet to the end of the mat. Coming into staff position. Press that through the bottoms of your feet, activate the core, keeping that lower back nice and Support the shoulders, shoulder blades towards your waist, crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe. And then activating your core, just let your body slowly move down onto your sacrum. Pause there, feel your core working, and then slowly lower it to your bottom lips. And then onto your shoulder blades, and finally your shoulders and hands to the floor. Take a moment and calm the integration there and just breathe and relax. And we'll do a couple of twists. So bring your arms to T position, palms up. Press your back down to the floor, sitting by slightly toward your heels, knees slightly bent. And then straighten your left leg, bring your right foot onto your left side. We're going to roll all the way to the left side. 
So keep your head on the floor as you roll over. Hands together in front of you on the floor, knee down to the floor. Take your left hand on your right knee, right hand above your shoulder. And just lower that arm right at shoulder level behind you. So remember, don't push that hand up towards your head or down towards your foot, but straight back. It may stay in the air, that's okay. Go only as far as it wants to go. And then relax. As you exhale, just let that tension in your body release. And your hand will drop further toward the floor when your spine ligaments release. Let it happen, but don't force it. Knee on the floor, if you keep it there, it's more intense in the lower back. So get a pillow or something under your knee if you need to be gentle there. Turn your head, letting that neck area be in the twist as well. And just let the hand come down toward the floor, bringing that middle back into your twist with the breath. Just relax. Breathe in your twist as much as your body needs. The more you emphasize those exhalations, the more things release will let it happen. And when you're ready to release on this side, just roll onto your back, slide the foot near the other one, and relax. Feel the difference in the two sides. So yeah, you've got to balance the body. Again, sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down. Then your left leg, Foot to the right side, the right leg straight. Turn all the way onto the right side. Keep the head down, bring the knee to the floor as well as the hands in front of you. Hold your right hand on the knee, the left arm right above your shoulder. Palm open to the ceiling as you bring that arm straight back behind you, turning your head to watch as that arm goes toward the door. And again, let it stay in the air if it doesn't want to go further. That's okay. Or just allow your spine to go as fully into the twist as it wants. Knee down for the lower back twist, head turning to the neck area, and arm lowering as much as your middle back twist is willing to go. Deep breath. Emphasize those exhalations. Let the twist happen as much as it wants on this side. And when you're ready to release, just let go of your knee, rolling out to your back, slide the foot near the other one, and release. Hands at your sides, palms up. Go ahead and do a relaxation. Well, let's do one more twist. Sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees. Draw those heels in your sitting bones. Press your back down. Take your right leg and cross it over the left leg if you want a little bit more low back work. Otherwise, allow your feet to stay next to each other. Bring the foot off the floor. And so in T position, palms up or down, your choice. And then roll the knee over to the left side, that hip level. Keep the shoulders both on the floor as you go, but you may not make it to the floor of that. So okay. deepen, turning your head toward the right arm behind you. And just relax into this twist as much as you go. Exhale, tension, just let that lower back get a little bit more work if it wants it. And now just let your body go. Deep breaths. Exhale, As you exhale, your knee may deepen toward the floor or not, just let it be where it needs to be. And when you're ready to release, bring your heels toward your hips slightly, roll onto your back. You've got that leg crossed over, uncross it, straighten out if you need to. And we do the other side, so crossing the left leg over if you're doing the cross leg. Bring your feet off the floor. Take a breath. Exhale. Knees coming down to one side. And turning toward the opposite side. And again, let the knee go toward the floor as much as it wants. Keep the shoulders on the floor. And as palms up or down, which kind of helps stabilize your shoulders. Take a breath. 
Let's exhale and relax. Deepen as much as your body wants to go. Let things release as you exhale. Even further. And of course, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. You cross your legs on cross, bring your feet to the floor, straighten things out, slide those legs out. Hip width apart, toes slightly toward each other, hands, palms up at your sides. Lean into corpse position for our final relaxation. Deep breaths. Exhale, and tension, just roll it over from the back. Soften your belly, relax your shoulders. Move your head side to side or that neck release. Deepen your breath. Exhale tension. Just let everything go. Body heavy. Sinking into that earth support. Wonderful. As you relax your body, just release awareness in your mind as well. No need to think of your body or the content of any other thought coming to you. Just let them drift away. Deep breaths, body sinking, mind drifting, and just take a few moments to be in peace. Keep relaxing as long as you have the opportunity to breathe. Breathe in deeply, exhaling stress, letting your body relax. It's time to reactivate for the rest of your day. You just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment to your body with your breath. As you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however she will speak for you today. And as you breathe more deeply and stretch more fully, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels toward your hips, and your knees toward your front. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that great appreciative yoga hug, however it feels good for you today. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bending feet to the floor, rolling over to the side, sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you. Thanks for joining me.